Hello chess friends and welcome to Azarov's chess channel and welcome to our series opening traps and miniatures in chess. So in this series I'm going to show you again a nice trap. Uh, today we'll analyze the so-called Semislav defense from the Queen's Gambit declined. And I think uh, this is also a common trap that you can use sometimes in order to win games very easily, in order to win games very effectively. I played this trap very often, I think. Uh, I played also this trap against uh, very strong uh, players, so I think you can use it in order to get a better, better preparation while playing uh, as white with the first move d4. So this is basically a good trap, I think, for d4 players. So let's check out this trap now. Uh, we have the first move d4. Your opponent uh, will play the move d5, c4, c6, the Slav defense after knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3, and e6, the so-called semi-slav setup so c takes d5 uh, is sort of a line that i most often play the exchange variation releasing the pressure in the center a little bit after e takes d5 now the common move uh, i like to use is the move queen to c2 and now uh, become uh, the game becomes really dangerous already g6 the preparation is of course to play this move f5 bishop to f5 attacking the queen really uh, kick away the queen and then occupy this weak e4 square in white position so my recommendation here is to proceed with the move bishop to g5 and now comes this common mistake that your opponent will, can play it's immediately bishop to f5 a common move is bishop to e7 or uh, bishop to g7 so when these moves are played this trap is not possible so after the move bishop to f5 my recommendation is to play the move queen to b3 and the problem is now that uh, the queen is a little bit stuck to the defense of this knight on f6 so the queen cannot move maybe to c8 or uh, to c7 in order to defend the b6 pawn what your opponent can do is maybe here to play the move uh, bishop to c uh, c8 again uh, retreating with the bishop trying to hang on to this position now the, my recommendation is to play the move uh, e4 so this is now the trap after uh, potential h6 we have the opportunity to take bishop takes f6 and now e takes d5 i think wins the pawn and you have a comfortable game so that's not the problem of this trap your opponent can play also the move d takes e4 now i don't recommend you to play knight takes e4 immediately my uh, the idea behind this trap is to play the move knight knight to e5 attacking immediately this uh uh, this f7 weakness your opponent could try to play the move bishop to e6 which is the main mistake because you have then the opportunity to play queen to b7 and now after something like knight to d7 uh, in order to protect the rook there is this problem we have knight takes d7 the problem is you cannot take with any piece if you take with the bishop then you get bishop takes f6 deflecting the queen from the defense of the rook the same happens if you take for instance uh, here uh, with the knight uh, you with the knight basically you cannot take because it's pinned by the bishop so uh, this is the problem so let's see the possible continuation bishop takes d7 bishop takes f6 rook to b8 would be a continuation but not a problem here after a potential rook to b8 now we could finally take and after rook to be uh, rook takes b7 we're simply retreating with the bishop and continuing the game with one piece up which is of course completely winning so in this particular position let's go back your opponent could try instead of this move bishop to e6 he could also try queen to e7 because he's protecting the f7 and also this uh, b7 pawn now we should simply proceed with the move bishop to c4 attacking uh, this f7 even further now after potential bishop to e6 we have bishop takes e6 f takes e6 if queen takes e6 you saw the problems we have the opportunity to again uh, take this pawn and in eventually will simply take the rook so after f takes e6 we have bishop takes f6 again deflecting the queen from the defense of the b7 and it would be game over so uh, this is really a problem because uh, this retreating bishop idea basically doesn't work this e4 move is simply too powerful you see there are many many tactical problems what black could try here is also this potential b5 move now again i'm uh, recommending you here to play e4 anyway after bishop takes e4 we have here uh, knight takes e4 uh, d takes e4 could be also a continuation but again this move knight to e5 and the problem is if you play for instance here now queen to e7 to protect everything then there is a very tricky move queen to h3 you see changing the direction of the attack 
Knight to d7 again doesn't work as we can simply take. You cannot take with the king, that's the problem. You would love to do that because you want to stay with, uh, with the queen uh, protecting the knight to f6. Uh, you cannot take with the queen because you get bishop takes f6. Again, you lose a piece. So if you try here in this position something like, I don't know, knight to a6 in order to maybe hang on to this position. But now again, this move bishop takes f6. This deflects now the queen uh, from the defense of this uh, very important uh, d7 square and again uh, black risk to be checkmated so here in this position after queen to h3 your opponent uh, can try maybe queen to d8 but again we play this move bishop takes f6 queen takes f6 and now queen to c8 attacking the king if you want to hang on to this position you should uh, could try maybe queen to d8 but we can simply take and now knight takes f7 will happen and you lose the rook so Another continuation here in this particular position is if your opponent uh, doesn't take with the bishop, if he takes with um, here the pawn. Then again, we have the opportunity to play the move knight to e5. After something like bishop to e6, now it's time to push the pawn here on d5. And after, I don't know, maybe something like b uh, bishop takes d5, here we can simply take knight takes uh, uh, knight takes d5 you have to take basically with the queen with the pawn it's not a possibility but still we can f first take this pawn and then after that uh, take this knight and then after that the uh, pawn on d5 so if your opponent captures with the uh, with the queen then we have of course first bishop takes f6 protecting this uh, knight on e4 so many many tactical threats you see this is the main idea after bishop to e6 then really to push the pawn on d5 this is a pawn breakthrough if your opponent for instance take here uh, with the pawn uh, trying to hang on to this position then we can simply take with the bishop you have to cover the, with, the, with the knight or similar ideas but now we can simply take out this knight even with the check is the possibility again the same tactical problem will happen you have to take out with the bishop but now we can simply uh, take with uh, with this uh with this uh, knight your your opponent has to take with the queen king but now we could also try queen to d5 or even knight to d5 and here the king is so endangered that the game basically will be lost so many many tactical ideas here you see this is the main main pawn breakthrough motif this e4 move uh, here in this position, I think uh, black is basically lost. You should try out really sometimes this dangerous trap. Uh, here in this position, uh, after bishop takes e4, here after knight takes e4, uh, you see your opponent could also try this move queen to a5. But again, king to d1 is not a problem. Uh, we can again uh, retreat with the king. The king is basically not endangered here. Your opponent could try maybe here to close uh the the light square diagonal but now again comes a very dangerous tactical shot knight takes c6 um uh, really this is very important to memorize this particular line because we are uh taking out this very important pawn after knight takes c6 now queen takes d5 uh now basically again oh, black is lost black could try maybe queen to a4 but now king to c1 and after rook to c8 trying to get some kind of a discover attack then here we have the opportunity to play bishop to b5 and it would be game over so mm, your opponent here could also try uh, the move queen to b6 to protect but now again bishop to b5 rook to c8 and now queen to e5 uh, king to d7 and now after queen to d5 king to e8 and now rook to e1 uh, getting this rook very actively into the game this is the main tactical threat you opponent could try maybe bishop to e7 in order to escape but now rook takes e4 king to f8 and now bishop to h6 uh kicking away the king king to g8 and now bishop to c4 is very tricky because uh this f7 pawn is hanging and i'm not seeing a good way how you should defend this because basically it's game over you could maybe uh, bring the rook but it can be taken by the bishop on h6 so this is the main setup as i said after this move bishop to c8 or even uh, this b5 uh push this pawn on e4 this is the main idea of this trap uh it will cause your opponent many many troubles i just want you to memorize this couple of next moves but they are really great attacking moves i think and i think that you can use this um, um trap very often and uh, i recently played a couple of days ago a uh, game in which my opponent he was around 2300 fell into this trap and i won the game very very easily 
okay i uh, hope that you enjoyed this trap at the end of the video as usual we'll have a chess puzzle for you to solve it's white to move uh, it's white that wins the game immediately try to solve this puzzle we have a thematic problem it's this crowded situation of pieces you see this is sort of an irregular setup of blacks here uh, black didn't secure the king and here is your time to uh, trap uh, the king somehow try to get use of some uh, some tactics and win the game very very easily okay i hope that you enjoyed this video meanwhile you can watch my other opening traps that i've analyzed so far here's the link and you can also watch my basics in chess series videos in which i show you opening principles middle game strategies and the end game strategies and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like this content thanks you for watching guys and uh, chess is the best of course